రెస్పెక్టెడ్ కళాకృష్ణ గారు డిస్టింగ్విష్ డాన్సర్స్ కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ అండ్ టు సమీర్ అండ్ హిస్ క్రూ ఐ బిలీవ్ ఎయిట్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఆర్ ఫ్రామ్ అన్నపూర్ణ కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఫిల్మ్ అండ్ మీడియా ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ ప్రౌడ్ మోమెంట్ ఫర్ అస్ to see a documentary of the dance the pedni dance on the 100th birth anniversary of the great dancer natraj ramakrishna garu is truly a befitting uh, tribute well done samir I think stories of Telangana is a beautiful concept and I'm sure it will be appreciated not just by the people of Telangana but all the those who are interested in anthropology and history and art and culture I think it's a beautiful way to document these dying art forms um I'm really happy that it's revived um thanks to the independent state of telangana and all the efforts to showcase this beautiful culture i was uh, reminded of my days in kalakshetra and being uh, i was part of kalakshetra dance troupe from the age of uh, almost 13 we traveled all over the world all over the country so it brought back very happy memories Mm, there is a a discipline and an inner an inner strength that comes with the dance especially with a classical art form and um, keeping an art alive is really keeping that alive not just um, something that is beautiful but also something that does a lot for the individual who dances i was telling samir Rukmini Devi used to say that uh, dance is like yoga. The dancer connects and understands oneself, one's abilities, what one is capable. We discover our own true potential and also helps us to deal with life better. In this day and age where there is there are so many uncertainties, so much stress at the workplace. sedentary jobs sitting behind desks and computers i think uh, spending an hour or so doing this dance would be a wonderful yoga for any human being any young person today i don't think people at my age can do it but young people <laughs> so it's very fulfilling nice to see um nice to see a documentary on the dance and uh, i'm so happy that anapurna studios has come forward to produce this and i do hope it gets the recognition and the opportunity to showcase this beautiful um the beautiful culture and art of this state of the people um who have walked here for generations before and um, show us the way for the future thank you for including me you made my day samir samir is one of my old favorites he made a wonderful documentary in his graduation year he made a wonderful documentary called moksha understanding moksha everybody saw that documentary and got vexed because it was so beautiful he made it so beautifully and so deeply by the end of the documentary you wanted to get moksha so they came out disappointed that they didn't get moksha so what happens amir where is moksha <laughs> so many people came out of the hall and said but i wanted to get moksha so it's a long journey to moksha but continue to do your yoga make good films make good documentaries and um, let's make the world a better place congratulations and wish you all the very best and um, to all the members of the media who have come here
I'm sure you'd be happy to see something different. Uh, he's made a, a nice uh, a, a intersection of the dance and cinema um, in the hope that it will reach wider audiences. Uh, there are the purists who will regret, but then um, what is the use of a beautiful art form if um, people don't have uh, the opportunity to see it? So I totally understand your approach. When I graduated from Kalakshitra, I saw the same. There was a wave where everybody was going to cinema and television. And I chose this path. I know I disappointed my teachers and my fellow dancers. But uh, here I am. Who would have known? We're making documentaries on the dance. So, so all the very best. And I hope um, you have enjoyed this documentary as much as me. Thank you.